Hey, the beauty of watching my videos is I'm not going to show you stuff that I think, ah, I'm not going to show this or that. I'm going to wait and then I'll explain what I'm doing and this, that, and the other thing. I'm going to get right in there, get my hands dirty, admit if I make a, a mistake, how are we going to fix certain things? How are we going to come through different things? That's what you get when you watch my videos. You see all kinds of stuff that maybe other people aren't going to explain to you in detail. And yes, I go into detail. If that's something you don't like, my videos probably are not for you because I try to do everything I can to make... Ah, oh, look at him. What's he eating down there? Oh, there's some quail right there, look. California quail. And there goes one of his babies. And we, we've got a family. There, there goes one. We've got a family of them that we've seen since they were babies. And it might have been two different families. There's one of the babies that's starting to grow up. They were so small. And we counted. Oh, shoot. How many did we count? about over 20 little babies and there was four adults so there might be two different packs in there but they can they can have as many as oh at least 15 babies maybe more hey little guy what are you doing I don't mind I like squirrels I like birds we like hummers we, we like it all we had we had a, a woodpecker yesterday and and he was out here, he wasn't eating that stuff, he was eating the suet. Where is that suet? Oh, it's over here. Right there. He was pecking at that stuff, they love that stuff. And the squirrel jumps up on that thing and reaches over there and gets that. And he does that on the other one too, but I don't, we don't mind. We don't mind, but back, back to my videos, hey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you as much information on my videos as I can. I enjoy doing it. I don't really, I don't do it for my purpose, you know. Once I do something, that, that's done and over. But if I make videos, then you can see from my mistakes, or you can see how I'm going to fix certain things. You can see, hey, what's Joe doing now? And you can also see that when I title a video, maybe I give you more than what you're expecting. You never know. I always say, hey, you might want to watch this video. You never know what what I'm gonna say next. And that's true, because once my thought process goes on, I'm gonna add certain things. And I, I, try to, I try to add tips and tricks along the way, or certain, certain tips and techniques that I do, or that I don't do, that you can learn that way too, okay? So all that stuff kinda of goes in play when I make my videos. I love making the videos for you. And I'm glad you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to me anytime. I've got so many. I think I have right now 2,658 videos or something. And I'm and I'm getting ready to put a lot more videos up. In fact, I've been I've been stockpiling my videos. I have two outside drives. One is a terabit. Uh, I think it's a terabit. I think that's what you call it. That's full of videos, unedited videos. And I got a third of another tera, terabit or 1.3 terabit outside drive, this little flat, this little rectangular flat thing that you plug in. And I'm, I'm loading all my stuff on that. I don't want to load that on my, my actual uh, computer because then it slows my actual laptop down. So I put it on an outside drive. Then I know where all my video stuff is. And then I go from there and edit it using, using another program before I put it up on YouTube. Okay? Then I can delete certain things on on uh, my video clips to gain more storage on my outside drives and just save the edited videos that I do. I don't need all the other stuff that I've, that I've cut out, right? And I can, do, I can do that. So I've got lots of stuff. And that's before working on this series here. And I've got, oh, four or five SIM cards that are that are uh, still empty that I'm gonna add that I can still do, oh there's a couple of other birds right there, that I can still do 
and I'm going to be filling those up with this whole entire project. So, hey, I don't stop. Whenever I have something that needs to be done in the house, I whip out my video camera. I mean, this is this is a nice house we moved into, but I've always I'm always doing things inside, and I got a whole list on my phone that I've put down under notes, and I I'm, I'm going to end up. Um, checking those things out later you know this is my first and foremost but um, I'm, I'm talking and I'm, and I'm trying to scroll through my uh, through my stuff see here's my entire list of things that I still need to do inside the house all the way to there all that stuff is coming up and anytime I do that stuff I'm gonna make videos of it and you're gonna learn all kinds of new things and so after a while I'll have oh I don't know I probably have enough stuff to make another thousand videos 2658 right now and all the other stuff that's coming up so when you watch this video check and see how many videos I have I don't know exactly where you do that but you should see many more than 2658 because that's going to be just the stuff that I have now which I have not uploaded for for quite some time now okay so once I get done with this project and do all the projects inside the house you know in between that I'm gonna to need to start uploading things to my YouTube channel and I enjoy doing that I just haven't done it for a while but that doesn't stop me from making videos for you now to follow up on what I was just talking about how else would have happened had we not seen anything over here and the floor was all fine like that well the home inspector the actual home inspector he should have found that dry rot right there shouldn't he have when he did his home inspection before we bought the house and also the termite inspection inspector you know a termite inspector usually they go around looking for termite activity and then they usually find dry rot areas around the house and then then they make a list of it and point all that he didn't catch it either now what would have happened had they have just caught it right there they could have probed a little bit realized hey you know what this is going deeper than we thought let's get underneath the house because maybe they maybe they didn't they thought this whole floor over here was fine let's get underneath the house then they would have found out that there was no access underneath here because I had to cut the access over here then they would have found there was no access over to there then they would have had, had to have cut that or they would have would have told the uh, the homeowner hey there's no access there we need to get underneath here to see what's going on with this step because had they have done something like that then they would have gotten into this area they would have seen a big huge surprise wouldn't they have so the reason why I'm explaining this is too you know when you get a homeowner's inspection you have to have a licensed person to do that which means they have to have insurance same thing with a licensed termite inspector who comes out here to do an inspection they have to have insurance too and so now my question is okay if they missed something like that who's responsible who's responsible their insurance should cover some sort of liability as well as the homeowner the home inspector who's doing the home inspection for the realtor he's got to have a, he's got to have some sort of insurance the realtor's got to have some sort of insurance. So who's going to pay for this? We don't know just yet. We're hoping that the, the previous owner's going to, but there's also other avenues we can look at. We can look at all those different things, the, the closing, the small claims court, the regular court, and do all that before actually hiring an, an, an attorney and trying to figure all this stuff out. That's going to be thousands of dollars just for uh, an attorney or something. So look at all the different avenues you have first think about it and check that stuff out i'm going to check and find out about home home inspections if if somebody 
who's licensed, what sort of insurance do they have if they miss something? I mean, he sure did miss that, didn't he? And I saw that, I, I thought there might have been something there because I looked up these, these steps and I looked at them and I thought, hey, something's going on with these steps. And I saw all kinds of, you know, checked marks on the front of that. And I thought, okay, when the homeowner, when, when the home inspection gets done, that inspector will find it. If he doesn't find it, the termite inspector will find it. Well, neither one of them. We got clean inspection reports, which just kind of amazed me on a 17-year-old house. And now this. So what recourses do we have? We're going to check into it and find out. And I encourage you to do the same.